Hello, everybody. This is Christina Lockett, host of the Christina Lockett Show and owner of CL Radio. Well, today, guys, I have an exclusive interview for you. I have the award-winning, legendary gospel recording artist, Marette Brown Clark. Please welcome her to the show. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. You know what? I am so excited to interview. This is my first time getting a chance to interview. And before we get started, let me... Let me start out by telling you that your song, It Ain't Over, has carried me through many, many storms, trials, and tribulations. That That is a blessing to know. It is really, really great to speak to you today. I'm often wondering, because we don't do these interviews, you know, all the time, I'm like, have I spoken to her before? Have I met her before? So it's an honor to be here speaking with you for the first time, and thank you for letting me know on what it ain't over me to to you that really, really yes. blesses my whole spirit. Yes, it was just one of my favorites. And, um, mm. and of course, uh, my father, uh, before he passed away, he was a pastor. And when I directed his choir, we definitely used to sing Just Want to Praise You. I think that is a yes. choir fan favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's so easy to sing. I think that's like I was out singing the other night and, um, an older gentleman, I sang all the songs. I sang It Ain't Over. I sang I Hear the Sound of Victory, and he was sitting there, and he was enjoying it. But as soon as I did, I just want to praise you, he literally started clapping his hands and, and bopping his head. And I was like, I said, oh, I finally got to your song, and I just started laughing. Um, <laughs> we laughed together. I was like, it is just that song. I don't care if you're 80 or 8, mm-hmm. um, it's that song, yep. Yes, indeed. Well, you're still so young, but I know I personally consider you legendary. Do people often consider you a legend? You know, I'm hearing that word a lot right now in this season. And, um, you know, in my head, I like to think uh, that I'm young, young, but I'm I'm still going (laughs) to keep one of those (laughs) young. But when I look at what the Lord has done for me and with my music in that time frame, um, I'm really blessed to know that it, it definitely means that I've been here for a long time. Yes, indeed. Well, that is our prayer and our belief. Well, let's yeah, go ahead and tell everybody why you're really here today. So you yeah. are now pr- promoting your um, your new single, I See Good. Can you tell us about that song? Yeah, sure. You know, we were getting ready to what started out, uh, to record what started out, as one song, and then it turned into a, well, since I'm in here, I'll record a couple more, and that was the EP. I was like, I'm fine. But then as I got to working with uh, who I affectionately call my son, Anthony Brown of Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, I was like, well, if I, since we're in here, I was like, do you have something I can record? You got a song I can mm-hmm. sing? Um, of those that don't know, he, he wrote It Ain't Over For Me. He wrote Sovereign God. He wrote I Hear the Sound of Victory. So I trust his pen in my heart. And so um, he actually wrote, I see good. The song says, every time I look your way, I see good. I see good for you. And I know that that's what the Lord is saying for us, you know. Um, And it's also what I see in other people. Um, And that's really been my hope and my prayer that I don't just gain a bunch of stuff and then um, not help somebody else, not see somebody else. The way that God saw me and blessed me to be able to have this music ministry that I have. I see the same thing for you because God has no respect of person. And so what he's done for others, he can definitely do for you. So every time I look your way, I see good. And it's so funny because that's my favorite lyric in the song is every time I look your way, I see good. And if you really listen to the lyrics, you know, it it mentions like, you know, you may be going through something and doesn't right. really look like it right now, but every oh, time I look yes. at you, I see good, and I feel like it gives yes. us hope. Absolutely. God sees the beginning, and he, he knows the ending, right, because he's already done it. And so it wasn't his purpose to create us and not um, have good in our life, favor in our life, grace in our life, mercy in our life. That's why he sent his son to save us. And so every time he looks at us, I feel like his heart melts a little bit, and he says, I see good. They may not be getting it right now. They may not think it looks good to them right now, 
But I, I know what's going to happen. I know the end game. And every time I look your way, I do. I see good. Yes, indeed. Well, you're definitely known uh, for singing, and you sing oh so well. But what's another gift or talent that you have that some people may not know about? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, that's a good question. I don't know. Oh, I, well, mm, so I – so I do know this about me. Um, I don't know where it's where it's going if I'm going to end up uh, where it's going to take me, but I do know that um, along with singing, there is something about um, the way that I speak that people pay attention to. So now that might not seem like an important gift to some people, but, but I know that when I open my mouth, my presence, what comes out of my mouth, commands people's attention. And so I'm okay. hoping that I can use that, um, not just for singing, and, and maybe that parlays into, not even parlay, that's not the right word to, to use, maybe I answer the call to what it is he has for me in terms of speaking or ministering, but um, I know that that is a gift that's in me, and it's up to me to kind of to foster that and give a good yes to him. Yes, we'll definitely yeah. give him a good yes. So, you know, yeah, in, I this hour, hard, <laughs> in this hour, in this hour, we definitely need people um, to speak, and we need to hear the voices. Um, the Bible says, "Faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of God." Mm-hmm. So we Absolutely. have to have people that will stand up and give the word. Yeah, and at least knowing that people will, you know, pay attention. I used to do it in my kids' classroom. Um, I, I'd go in the classroom, and for some reason, the kids would just They'd stop, you know, what they were doing, and they would listen to me when I spoke, when I, you know, presented in the room. And I know that's just God, the God in me um, that shows out and shows up. And so I'm just really grateful that, you know, even he uses normal people, he uses ordinary people uh, to do extraordinary things. Yes, indeed. Do you have any other upcoming projects or concerts? Well, um, we've got the single that you spoke of, I See Good. But along with that, uh, I want to say the first time in over 10 years, I have a brand new project that's coming out um, soon, 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 I want to say. And so um, I'm excited about that. Just like I said, when I went in to record, I was like, I'll just record one song. But it actually turned into a complete project. And I'm really, really excited about that. I can't wait for everybody to hear it. Just more songs. Um, familiar songs and uh, new songs. And so um, I just really, really want God to be glorified, to be magnified, and I'm just blessed that he's still uh, choosing to use me. I believe the messages that I have coming are going to be impactful. Okay. Well, this is the last question I would like to ask you. Um, I'm known for A Message of Hope. I have A Message of Hope magazine um, a message of hope series with my books. I'm known for that. And so um, as people are tuned in, they may listen to this on our radio station, CL Radio. They may listen to this on social media. What message of hope would you give our listening audience? You know, I'm actually dealing with some um, situations in my uh, immediate circle. And um, it's a very familiar passage, but when you got to pull it out, uh, it really uh, – ministers to you. So it just says no weapon formed against you will prosper. It doesn't say that the weapons won't prosper. It doesn't say that it won't even look like they're, they are getting the best of you. But God promised, he made a promise to us that no weapon formed will ever prosper. And so hold on to that. Know that God sees good in you, through you, and for you, and that um, He's gonna, everything's going to come to pass. Whatever he spoke will come to pass. I'll just encourage you to hold on to that fact, I'm, as I'm yes. holding on to it as well. Yes, indeed. Let's hold on. Everybody, that is Marit Brown Clark. She is promoting her new single called I See Good. It is available on all digital outlets. Go ahead and download it. Make sure you stream it and share it with someone else. How can our listening audience follow you and connect with you? And we never know who's tuned in. Maybe they might want to book you to come to their city. How can they do that? Well, if they want to book me, that would be amazing. You can go to my website, morettebrownclark.com. I'm also on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Morette Brown Clark. Instagram is Morette B. Clark. 
But I, if you put Moret in any search engine, um, you will find me. Um, I, I always tickle up people that say, we couldn't find you. I'm like, it's so easy to find me. But um, Moret Brown Clark, uh, anywhere. And again, thank you, uh, Christina, for this opportunity to reach, uh, to speak to you, to meet you, and to reach your valued listeners. I just applaud you for owning your radio station and just all the things that God has your hands to do. It answered um, your yes, answered a, uh, my yes, which was, God, please take my music further than I could physically take it. And you're a part of that journey, and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Again, everybody, that was Marvin Brown Clark. Make sure you get her single, I See Good. And, of course, support all of her music and look forward to her upcoming projects. Y'all stay tuned for more. This is Christina Lockett, host of the Christina Lockett Show on CL Radio.